Hello, I'm Ilian Saint-Hilaire, and in this video, we're going to talk about the brand new features of Intel AMT 11.6 and Mesh Commander. So, as a refresher for people who uh, may not be familiar with AMT that much, it, once you've activated AMT, you can go to the IP address of the machine and port 16992 with any browser. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. The IP address, port 16992, enter, and you get the login page of the server, of the web server that's built into Intel AMT. So I can click on login and you type in your username and password, usually admin and the password that you um, you provisioned AMT with, but it can be another account if you set up other accounts. And you say OK, and you now get the default web UI of Intel AMT. Um, you see the status of the machine, you see hardware information, event log, and so on. You can do power control. Now, this is not a super useful uh, web UI. It's always available, which is great, even if the machine is sleep sleeping in soft off or, or hibernating, but uh, it's not that useful. So starting with M MT 11.6, you can replace this UI with one of your choice. And in fact, Mesh Commander comes with a UI replacement for, for the default one inside AMT 11.6. So the way we're going to switch this UI is go we're going to first connect to Intel EMT and we're going to wait for the Wizman calls to be done. And you'll notice I have EMT 11.6, so that or higher will work. And you'll notice that if you have that version, there's a storage tab that shows up. Uh, this is new. We're replacing uh, 3PT. 3PDS, third-party data storage, with uh, what I call web storage. And it's a much more powerful um, f storage mechanism inside AMT. So you can store any files you want here, but uh, and we'll talk about that in a bit. But the first button I want to show you is the upload application. You just click on this, and you pick which version of Mesh Commander you want to upload into firmware. So I'm going to start with the small one and say OK. And it's just going to take a second, and you'll see that it uploaded an alternative index.htm that is 36.8k in size. And now I'm going to go ahead and go back to um, 16992. I'm going to log in, but instead of getting the default index.htm, I'm going to get an alternative version, and this is the very small version of Commander that lives in the firmware. So what can I do with this? Well, um, I can do power control. I can do rename the machine. I can do uh, remote desktop. So I have full remote desktop control. So basically now I don't need this anymore. I can basically turn this off, you know, and just with any browser, log into this computer, 16992, and I can, uh, I can do KVM. I can do uh, uh, full screen. I want to, I can do power action, rotate, you know, a lot of the things that Mesh Commander offers is now offered uh, in this mini version of Mesh Commander that's completely inside the firmware. So if you have a couple computers around, just load Mesh Commander inside the firmware like I just did here. And once you're done with that, um, you can basically manage your AMT computers from, um, from any browser and you don't need any tools anymore. So let's just take a look at the small version of Mesh Commander. Uh, I have remote desktop. I have hardware information. So all in one page here. Got the event log. And you can filter. You can refresh, clear the log. We have the storage uh, system right there. Uh, network settings, super important. And network setting includes the wired, wireless, and all the wireless profile on a single page. So all your networking uh, for AMT is uh, in this page. And you also have user accounts. So uh, you'll notice that as I switch tabs here, I'm not actually loading, reloading the web page. So the single HTML page got loaded from the firmware, and now uh, the entire management console is contained in here. So let's take a look at, let's go back into Commander, uh, the, the EXE version, and I'm going to go ahead and delete the page, upload the large version now, and the large version, instead of being in a 30K range, is in the 60K range. So this is a 62.8K um, web page. So it's a little bigger. But now I'm going to hit refresh. And you're going to see that the 
commander inside the firmware is much more capable. You'll see many more tabs on the left side here. So the status, uh, right now desktop, remote terminal, uh, hardware. But for example, hardware here, I can save the file. So if I want to save you know, what I see on the screen as a JSON, I can do that there. Um, the event log, the audit log, uh, storage, networking, let's see, CIRA settings, agent presence, system defense, and, and so on and so forth. Wake alarms you know, script editor. Uh, we also have the, the Wizman uh, browser, so you can query stuff and so on. So, you know, you get a lot of what you would need in Commander, you get it right here. One notable exception, by the way, is the security settings that handles uh, certificates and uh, certificate management. So that part is not in the web, the firmware version, it's just, it's just too big. Uh, because there's a lot of libraries for creating certificates and handling that that's um, that just uh, just too big to fit in the firmware so uh, so except for that one pretty much all the other features are available in the firmware version okay so that's pretty cool now there's another thing I want to show you about storage so if I go back into storage here and actually I'm just going to use the firmware version so I go back into storage there's an upload button in fact uh, the exe ver if I go here, you can use the upload button and upload any file you want. So, but instead of using the upload button, I'm gonna, I have this HTML page, and it's just a game of chess that I, I got online and I cleaned it up a little bit for this usage. And I'm gonna drag and drop it on the web page, and it's gonna ask me for a few things before I upload this uh, file onto the web storage of AMT. So it's gonna ask me for a vendor name. In this case, I'm just gonna type uh, AAA application name BBB. You could, you know, you would normally type your company name here and the application you want, and then the file name. The chess is fine. The MIME type. This is the uh, the MIME type that will give, be given to the browser when the file is served back, and then the link. And for the link here, I'm going to type chess or chess game or short name, and you'll see why in a minute. So when I click OK, it uploads this new file, but also what you'll notice is that because I put this link here name to chess, what it did is Mesh Commander found uh, you know, that there is a new link and added this link here. And now I can click on it and you see the web page being embedded inside Mesh Commander. So in this case, it's a small uh, chess game. It's a, a few K in size. I'm not really good here, so, but I, I bet even I could probably beat this game. Oh dear. This is this is going really badly. Anyway, so I, I'm playing chess here. Um, by the way, this game is not running on AMT. It's very important to mention AMT is just serving the static page to the browser, and and what I'm playing now is entirely running inside the browser. So the the code and so on. But it it shows you a little bit how. Uh, not only can you upload your own console inside the firmware, but now you can upload files like data files and and, and things you want. And in order to retrieve those files, you just um, you can just load them up from the URI. So it's much easier than in the past because in the past you had to do these Wizman call to get the file back or upload the file. Now the upload is very simple. The download you just have to uh, select the you know go to the right uri and you'll download the file and in addition to that you can link files in such a way that um, that they can show up uh, in inside the web ui or inside an alternative web ui like mesh commander so this is uh, this is really all new with amt 11.6 but again what i find absolutely incredible with this is that you can load a management console inside the firmware and uh, once you've done that, you can just click on remote control, take over the machine, uh, you know, go full screen, put your browser full screen. And now you have really, you know, full control of the, that machine and, and you don't need anything but a browser. So I think it's absolutely exceptional feature and uh, hope it gets used a lot. Thank you very much. I hope you appreciate it.